Welcome, I'm Jason Smith. Today's topic is going to be Republican bigots. We have uh, three uh, Republican bigots that are running for president. One of the interesting of the two, well, two of the interesting bigots that are running for president is uh, Bobby Jindal and Ted Cruz. And I had made a post, this is my Facebook, and I had made a post that was originally WVU Fox 8 News. Jindal demands more information from Obama about Syrians coming into Louisiana. Last week, the city of New Orleans began receiving the first wave of Syrian refugees and with former immigration crisis and federal relocation policy. So what brought this subject on today is that uh, I, I put on here as a comment when I posted, I said, this man is a bigot and wants to legalize murder of all gays. Then uh, we have a friend down here, Tracy Murrayhead. What does that have to do with uh, Syrian refugees. And he goes, secondly, I highly doubt he wants to legalize murder if, uh, if gays. Then I come down here, as you can see, and I said, yes, he and uh, the other presidential candidates kill the gays, legal, legalize murder, causing the Bible, because the Bible says so. Okay. Bobby Jindal, uh, Ted Cruz, all attended a meeting about kill the gays and uh, how they were properly going to introduce this bill in coming to pass. So stay tuned for the second part of Republican Bigots. I'm Jason Smith. Click like and share underneath below and make all your comments below. All is appreciated. Thank you. Come back. I'm Jason Smith. Topic of today is bigot Republicans and how bigot Republicans back up other bigot Republicans. Uh, going on to about the subject that I was discussing about Jindal and Ted Cruz attending a bigot Christian religious meeting, they're entitled, yes, they're entitled to uh, going to these meetings, but in the meantime, they didn't say nothing that was contrast of what this preacher was preaching. And secondly, Tracy Murrayhead keeps coming back and backing these bigots up, so he must be a stupid, ignorant bigot himself. <laughs> Surely I have showed him the information he is looking for, but when you show somebody that's uh, ignorant in their own way, they're not going to even believe you when you show them proof. I mean, this is, this is freaking proof, man. That's how uh, Republicans uh, talk. That everybody's wrong but them. Everybody's wrong with them. I said, did you, uh, one of my comments on here, did you see and hear the religious meeting, the three Republicans running for president, including Ted Cruz, literally kill the gays, legalize murder, cause the Bible says so. And uh, he goes, you had to show me I don't believe one word. 
like you don't believe it when I show you proof, Tracy. Then I come down here and I show him Huffington Post. He didn't even care to watch the video on Huffington Post titled, Why is the Media Ignoring Ted Cruz's Kill the Gays? 2015. When the Democrat debate was going on. And I made a comment even down here. I said, watch the video, Kill the Gays. Except uh, you're nothing but a bigot yourself, Tracy. Nothing but a bigot. And um, then you go on down here and you make another racist comment. And they can keep their towel-headed asses in the Middle East. These people are trying to flee other people and need help. But instead, you want to be like a Nazi. Nobody deserves help but us. Oh, yes. Nobody help deserves help but us. And you know what? You blame the president. And I've heard many of my friends sit here and blame President Obama. You know, when uh, you have three Republicans running for president and they go to a kill the gays meeting. And everything gets ignored. Then you wonder why the president gives us gays more rights. Because he has to protect us from idiots like this. Surely you don't think that I'm going to vote for one of these stupid idiots. And every time they appear on TV or go to some stupid meeting, they even get even stupider. I come over here. And see, this whole thing is about uh, what's going on in Paris, France, the uh, terrorist attack. And somehow, you know, it's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo right now. But uh, this one of the statements that Ted Cruz made, if I was the president, I'd be doing something. And how could you even say that, Ted Cruz, when you didn't even serve in the military? Everything you say is a lie, a lie and a bigot and a, mon a, a money, just you're out for the money and everybody knows it. I don't care if you were my senator or if you still are my senator, I'm entitled to my opinion. Freedom of speech. And when you make little remarks like this on here you're just you're just out to make yourself look bad Tracy how about that you don't believe one word that I say every time I've gotten on here on Facebook you have some right winged remark to come back on here and say Every time. Seven replies, Tracy. Seven replies. I'm going to view all the replies. Because this is my Facebook. Not yours, Tracy. See, I even come down here and show you on YouTube how crazy this idiot in this church that Huckabee, Ted Cruz, and Bobby Jindal of Louisiana attended and they said nothing contrast to what this stupid idiot was preaching about. Nothing. And I said, there's proof. Then I come down here and show you Huffington Post. More proof, okay? And then you go, not once did I hear Cruz or Huckabee say anything. Not even come talking or killing the gays. You're just going to had to do better than that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to do better than that. I showed you a I showed you two videos. Two videos, not just one, two. To back off my proof. And I'll be showing you articles too. Evidentially you didn't read the articles. I said you didn't watch the whole video. And I said and they did attend this meeting. And I said I did and then Tracy comes back and says I did watch it. They said nothing. Okay, they said nothing. That's the problem. They said nothing. 
<laughs> love your p. I love your picture, Tracy. Love your picture. I said, evidentially, you did watch. You did not watch the video, the article, or, or read the article. If you then please explain why they didn't disagree, which is the same meaning as contrast with the bigot preacher. And please explain why they attended this meeting in the first place. Bigots back other bigots back uh, up. Bigots back other bigots up. And that's so true, Tracy. You're nothing but a bigot. He says, first off, I am not taking up for the preacher. However, he is right about one thing. One must repent of his sins. Being gay is a, a sin. Okay, you're going with the Exodus Leviticus, okay, the Old Testament. We're not living in the Old Testament, Tracy. Wake up. You're just, you're living in the past and trying to bring back the dark ages like stupid Ted Cruz down here. No greater sin than the other. I don't care about the freaking Bible, okay? Don't. Don't even quote your freaking Bible. It's not the freaking law, but you want to make it law. You and Ted Cruz and Bobby Jindal and Huckabee over here. And what can you get out of their asses anyway? You can't get no money out of them. So what are you sucking up to them for? Secondly, they have the right to attend whatever they want to. Yes, they have a right to, but they, they sure as hell didn't say anything. Stay tuned for scene three. Welcome back to the conclusion. I'm Jason Smith. Topic of today is Republican bigots back up other Republican bigots. And yes, how I use the word bigot. Tracy Murrayhead is a bigot backing up the biggest bigots of Texas, Louisiana, and the Republican parties. He, he tries to quote the freaking Bible, but you can't even come up with a verse, Tracy. Oh yes, you want to sit there and quote Bible to me, but you can't even you can't even come up with a verse. Back your shit up before you put it on Facebook, because I'm gonna I'm gonna expose the truth, and this is truth because it's posted on here, and I will leave it on here, and I will leave it open to the public. <clears throat> And then, uh, you know, he's like, oh, well, show me proof. And I said, oh, I will. Then uh, Jesse Butler goes down here, three people losing the Republican nomination, walk into a church let's kill the gays they walk out the church still not winning the nomination so see one of my other friends or one of your friends comes down here and comments or somebody publicly on facebook comes down here and comments jesse bollard okay and he can agree with me because he actually read the article and he actually watched the video evidentially uh <clears throat> D1 Thomas, he's uh, talking about, looks like he's talking about, I can't even pronounce the word, but mostly this, mostly down here, and here's another friend of mine, Miles Jones. I don't see how you're interested, and you're friends with Tracy Murrayhead. He's an ass. He's a bigot and an ass. And then you find like, oh, you're friends with Muri Head. Oh, you like Muri Head? Hi. Hello, kitty. Hi. Long time no talk, Miles Jones. 
since you wanted to bring yourself into my conversation over here, you had nothing good to say, nothing to back up anything. You didn't even post a freaking Bible verse over here, Tracy Murrayhead. Fuck you. Then Paula Davis comes down here and goes, all of this crap over here. And then Milo Jones assumes that she's from the Tea Party. So I don't know which one's worse. All I know is I'm not supporting Ted Cruz, Huckabee, or Bobby Jindal. I haven't. I lived in Louisiana for six years, and I never cared for this character. Never. He's the one that's oppressing Louisiana. Bobby Jindal, right here, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby Jindal, the oppressor of Louisiana. As long as he's governor or senator or whatever office he's in, he's going to oppress your state. Your state's already bankrupt. And how could you be gay and be right-winged and back up other bigots? Because you're nothing but a closet case bigot. That's all you are. And I have the right to because every time that I make a post over here and you want to throw your little three cents in and you can't even quote me a Bible verse, get over here and make your little comments. So that's all I have to do today for the conclusion of Republicans, bigot Republicans, Republican bigots back up other Republican bigots. Thank you for watching. I'm Jason Smith. Click like and share and comment underneath below. All your comments are fully thanked.